Hi guys, so welcome. Today is day 8 of December, Tuesday the 8th. Um, I'm a little late starting the vlog this morning, it's already almost 11am. Um, I have been up for ages, it's not like I just got up, don't worry. <laughs> it's a work day so I've been up for a while. I've already had my coffee and my advent chocolate, I don't think I filmed any of that. Um, but yeah, so Layla's off at preschool today, so I'm back to work. And this morning I have been spending some time working on some new classes that I'm going to be offering in the new year. So I've been teaching the same four or five classes with Vogue for their virtual um, events for the last, well, this since August. And so I kind of want to switch it up a little bit and offer some new classes. And I'd asked a while back on Instagram for some suggestions from you guys for classes that you would like to see me offer. I've been in t talks with the organizers at Vogue, put the ideas to them and they selected um, two new classes to add to my to, to the what I would teach. So the first one that I'm working on right now is introduction to two color brioche knitting. And I know a lot of people were really interested in that one. That was definitely one of the more, one of the popular options was introduction to brioche knitting and teaching two color brioche in particular. So I've just worked on creating a first draft of the handout. I now need to follow my own instructions and knit up a couple of samples and make sure my instructions actually make sense because that's kind of important. The other class that was requested that Vogue also decided was a good one would be um, like an, again a beginner's guide to colour work knitting. Um, so I still need to work on that one but I might do that tomorrow. I'm there are a few other things I want to do today as well and um, and yeah so my main goal was to get this one class mostly sorted today at least the written stuff and then I can work on um, like I said knitting up a couple of samples uh, just to make sure the instructions make sense and that it works um, before we then before I then move on and do something else so it would move on and do the next class so i kind of want to focus on one at a time and then there was a couple of other classes that people were interested in um, me teaching which i also really like the idea of it's just because the vogue classes are only two hours online um i'm not entirely sure it would work really well in that format anyway so i'm thinking of potentially in the new year <laughs> once i can carve out some like dedicated time for it um to create like a course i guess like an online course um like a standalone course so it wouldn't be like a live class like the vogue class is alive it would be pre-recorded and you'd obviously pay to access it and then you would have lifetime access to those videos and to the course and all of that so i'm thinking of doing that for a couple of new classes and also for some of my old classes that i've taught a lot in the past but then i might not be teaching going forward but i think would suit really well to having like a online course format. I'm at the point now where I need to like actually knit up the samples to make sure it all works and then I can move on to something else. So I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to go dive in my stash and see if I can find um, some good yarn that would work well as um, samples for this. Um, and then I've also been working on the cowl for Layla. I'm really loving how this is turning out. It's just some really fun basic cables. Um, I've done I think six repeats now. So yeah, she's going to love it. It's quite small because it's going to go this way around. I mean, it still would be fine if I was wearing it as well. But it's only going to be a single loop, really easy little cowl for her to pop on and off. The the pattern I'm using is actually one of mine. She picked it. It's the, um, it's from the Road Whipping Cowl, which is a design on my Ravelry. Um, it's, it's designed to be like a one skein project. And it was actually designed out of fingering weight yarn. And it's got this cable pattern for half of the cowl and then there's an eyelet pattern for the other half of the cowl and then you join it together at the end to form a loop. But I'm just going to do the cable all the way around for her and I'm also using DK weight yarn rather than fingering weight yarn so I've just adapted it to make it work for the worst, the DK gauge which if you have my ebook cowls and you look at the any gauge method in there it's the same concept. Um, and um, and yeah, so I'm doing that for her. Hopefully I'll get that finished in the next couple of days. I think my first protocol now is gonna to be to knit up these samples, or to start these samples anyway, and see where we get where we get to on those. And then I can um, think about what else I can do today.
so I think I've settled on these sets together for samples potentially I know that's a good contrast I know that's pretty good contrast that one a little bit less sure about but it should be fine um, so yeah I only need two for today so I'll probably do these two to begin with so I found this bundle of spun yarn that's been washed I just need to measure and label them up so um, and put them into my stash so there we go let's go do that then I've been putting that off since April I need to get on with it So thankfully, I had thought ahead enough at the time when I was spinning these and I kept notes on the measurements of it and everything on my phone. So it made it really easy, I just had to re-measure the circumferences roughly to get an accurate, and re-weigh them just to get an accurate, more, well, say accurate, more accurate yardage count for them. And um, yeah, label them up and now they're ready to pop into my stash for a little bit. It might not be super obvious on camera, but it suddenly got very dark in here. There was a small window of opportunity <laughs> where there was, you know, somewhat mediocre, mediocre <laughs> light earlier. So I quickly snapped a few of the photos that I needed um, before it suddenly disappeared again behind a cloud. And it's almost three o'clock now, so the sun's setting. So the sun is starting to set anyway. Sun goes down just before four. So that's me done for today in terms of being able to get any photos done. I did do the first of the two samples that I need to do for the brioche um, class that I'm doing. So I just wanted to knit up a couple of samples just so I have something to show. Also, I think for the actual in-class like teaching sample, I'll have one that's sort of like this sort of scale as well. But I'm planning on getting some really bulky yarn to be able to demonstrate the stitches and so it becomes really clear how you do everything. Um, so I need to get some bulky yarn at some point, probably. Um, I might go for a walk into town tomorrow. There's um, there's like a haberdashery fabric shop that also sells some yarn as well. So um, I might pop in there and see what they have that might be suitable. And um, yes, yeah, so this is the first one with the yellow and green hand spun. And um, now I'm going to cast on and do the one that is in the round. But amongst all of the um, organising and like grabbing of stuff that I needed to get for photos, I discovered a stash of mini skeins that I'd forgotten about. Now these are all minis that I spun from my advent calendar that I got last year. My five, one of my fibre advent, well, my only fibre advent calendar that I had last year, which I purchased from Fellview Fibres in the UK. And I don't think, I did, didn't, I definitely didn't spin this up during Vlogmas last year, but I spun it up in January. And, um, and then I must've just put it away, trying to decide what I was gonna do with it, and I never came up with anything. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn all of these into pinwheel squares to add to Layla's blanket. I've double checked and I only need 18 more squares to um, to finish it or to get it to the size that I would like before I wanna start joining. And I have 24 minis in here, so that's enough to do another three squares. And I'm starting to rack up plenty of leftovers, so I could probably do another a few more squares with those. And um, so yeah, I can get close to my close to my goal, close to my target. Um, I'm not gonna do this now. I might start winding up some of the minis later, um, but for now I'm gonna crack on with the second brioche sample and um, 
and yeah see where we get to i'd like to get that finished before i have to go get layla probably won't pick up the phone the camera the phone the camera again until i go get nugget so i guess i'll see you guys later There you go. This is the news look. Mm. Where's right. Daddy's one? Like it is the same as that one. Where's Daddy's number eight? Sorry, Mummy's got to tidy up her stuff. It's a bit of an obstacle course. Yeah, uh, good spotting. Here you go. Thank you. Now we're going to do the ritual of comparison. And our judge says, uh-oh, we may have a problem. Survey says, what's it? The movie handed a... Oh, no. What does this mean? It's big. Whose is bigger? Daddy. So what does that mean? Bit me. <laughs> Are you going to eat your one? Means daddy gets more chocolate, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you want to swap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the one go! Did that just disappear into your mouth? It's gone because of mouth, probably. Got me a chocolate gob. What's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that? You've got real attachment to the puppy, haven't you? Mummy. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's what? It turns. It's, you're turning it, yeah. yeah. I like your orange one too. Yeah? The orange one is bigger than. The little one is the little than the big one. Yeah, good job. The little one is littler than the big one. You're gonna hold it. Yeah, there you go. It. Oh, you want to hold it? Okay. What are you gonna tell them? I something? went to baubles. You made baubles yeah. for your, for your and, Christmas tree. And I went out to garden. You went out in the garden. What else did you do today? Um, dancing. You did dancing. Yeah. What other things did you do? Um, then skipping. Skipping? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we Sasha did it. You and Sasha did it? Yeah. You were so excited to meet Stand someone. Up, you were so excited to see someone? Yes. Who were you excited to see? The grown... What? Alex. Oh, Alex? He's really big. Is he one of the teachers? Yes. Oh. He's different. He's different? How is he different? Because he's... Got a white top. Oh, he's got a different colour top than the other teachers? Yes. Oh, okay. And what did you eat today? Um, I don't know. What did you have for tea? Um, Sashes. What? <laughs> <laughs> did you have beans on toast? Yeah. Got a little madam over there waving skeins of yarn around. <laughs> like a goofball. Um, and um, yeah, so just getting ready to wind down for the evening. Perry's just got one last work call to do, then he's doing bedtime tonight. Um, and uh, yeah, and so I think we're probably going to call it a night now. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very special day. And I will tell you all about that in the morning. Alright, take care. Bye guys.